Hello Aquarius, welcome to your extended reading. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for your uh, purchase. So let's go ahead and clarify this entire reading for you. What I'm going to do, Spirit, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to split the deck and pull from the top. And what I'd like to do is pull at least two cards for each placement. Normally I do one, but I want to do two. I want to open this up and see what's coming in here. Can you please clarify this entire spread for Aquarius? Two cards each placement, please. I'm just, if I get quiet, it's because I'm focusing while I'm shuffling and Last shuffle, please. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Queen of Swords, Justice. Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Hierophant, Sun. Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Wow, so either that's something that you want, that's something that is coming, or that could be something that didn't get off the ground. All right, let's go ahead and pull reversals. Can you please clarify this thread for Aquarius? Can you please clarify the spread for Aquarius? One more shuffle. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, reversed, strength, reversed, death, reversed, justice, reversed, nine of wands, reversed, knight of wands, reversed, five of wands, reversed on the bottom of the deck. End of conflict and strife, com conflict, competition, strife, arguments, or the desire to end it. Let me just get a quick sip of water here. I've been so thirsty lately. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So this is representing you, Aquarius, all right? So you were the Page of Cups when it comes to this person that you're involved with or thinking about. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. So some of you, again, could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. This can be a wife energy as well, whether somebody that you want to make your wife um, or uh, somebody that you're already married to. Uh, and then those of you that are females who are watching this, maybe, you know, you want to be the wife of this Aquarius um, or, you know, you... Um, want to have a wife <laughs> i don't know but it, it is the it's the wife it's the mother uh and the queen of hearth and home okay so either either aquarius you want to offer your cup to someone after you moved away from a previous relationship um or you offered your cup to someone and they moved away from you i.e rejected you um or you want to offer your cup to somebody and both of you move away from difficult times, coming back together as a united front. And then clarifying that is the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So this is definitely not making an offer in the past. This can be saying that you had a chance to make an offer in the past, Aquarius, and you didn't. You dragged your feet. As a result of it, this person moved on. Um, and you didn't give them any choice but to. 
So this can definitely be taking too long to do something, not making an offer or retracting an offer. And then this person moved on. Uh, so you feel like you've lost this opportunity. You want to come back together with this person. Um, or some of you got out of a previous relationship. You took back your offer and you moved away from somebody that you were in a longer term relationship with or you were serious about in order to move on to a new this new connection. This is the person that you're dealing with. They were the four of wands. We've got the queen of swords. So they could, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fellow air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, or this could be you, where they are wanting to be the life partner or the spouse of you, air sign, Aquarius. Um, and then you've got justice here. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, it doesn't have to be. So the person that you're dealing with, okay, um, is like wanting justice about a commitment um, that, you know, they're a little bit upset about. I mean, look at the Queen of Swords in this particular deck. She's a bit upset. She's a bit cross, right? She is somebody who is ready to speak her truth, to draw the line in the sand with that sword, uh, and to even read someone the riot act if they need to, okay? We've got this strength card reversed. So it feels like here that whoever it is that you're dealing with, there, there was a, a weakening of the relationship, a connection, or a marriage, a commitment or a marriage. Whether this is someone from their past and they want to be with you now, or whether this is them toward you. It's like there is this desire here to, um, you know, have the four of wands. They want the, mar the, the commitment. They want the life together. They want the marriage Something didn't happen. Something fell through. Something didn't take off. You know, something didn't work out the way that it was supposed to, or this person felt very left, let down by Aquarius or by a situation or something. Um, and, you know, and, and perhaps, you know, they felt left down because Aquarius took too long to make an offer. They dragged their feet um, or, you know, Aquarius wanted to get out of this situation and go to somebody else. Kind of confusing here. You'll have to write me and let me know if this is resonating because it just seems a little disjointed to me. But again, I don't know who I'm reading for. This is the current energy between the two of you, which is the emperor. Clarifying that, we have the queen of cups and the ten of pentacles. So queen of cups is a water sign, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Just somebody taking on this energy. And again, the... Um, the emperor is an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, this could definitely be a relationship, a partnership, a commitment, living together, marriage with that Ten of Pentacles. Um, or the promise of a future together, or you've been dating them long enough, you guys are engaged and planning on it, or somebody was. This could be a relationship from the past. This could be the relationship that you or you Aquarius or the person you're dealing with needed to get out of so that you guys could come together. Uh, we have the death card here. So um, that is that is not being able to move on. That is a situation that is still open. The case isn't closed, if you will. You know what I mean? It, there's still unfinished business there. Now, this can come in a couple of different ways. Aquarius needed to get out of a longer-term relationship with somebody else in order to come toward the, this person that they now want to offer their cup to. Okay? Second scenario, this person that Aquarius is dealing with was in another relationship here that they were having a hard time getting out of. That's why Aquarius has been dragging their feet. Uh, to make this offer kind of waiting for the right time. The problem is, is that somebody has moved on from them or perhaps Aquarius has missed out on other opportunities waiting for this person. Um, or, you know, or something, something along those lines or some, somebody was in some kind of a relationship here that, you know, isn't done or needed to be done or somebody was waiting to get out of for a while or somebody needed to break it off um, or maybe somebody needed to go through a divorce. Now, what this could be is that somebody in this connection, the third scenario, I guess, is going to be taking a, the lead in coming toward the person they really want to be with. So maybe it's like, let's say, for example, Aquarius was needing to come towards this person that they want to be with. 
they were in another situation they had to get out of it now finally they're going to take the lead and pursue with all their heart this person that they want to be with and make a legit offer for a legit future together because Aquarius has not been able to get over this person that they want to be with but they just had to tie up loose ends from the past I don't know if that makes sense or flip that story maybe that whole scenario I just gave you was this person that you're dealing with and you know they had to tie up loose ends and now they're gonna take action um, or or something like that so <laughs> I mean I hope this is resonating because to me it just seems like you know what's really going on here it just it seemed like ultimately I guess what I could say generally speaking is that there were some kind of obstacles blockages delays something standing in the way and um, or multiple things standing in the way energetically physically uh, hands are tied you know having to wait for cycles to finish having to wait for paperwork to go through having to wait for someone else to agree to something you know there could be other people outside of this situation that were kind of playing a role in it right you know and maybe that's why now it's like overcoming all of this conflict so now you guys can move on to the Ten of Cups energy, we got the Two of Swords here right behind it. So there was something blocking this coming together for a while. All right. Now, what's what's coming in between the two of you? We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Clarifying that is the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So what this is telling me is that my first impression of this is that the wheels of fate or the winds of change have either already come in and blown through your lives or it's about to happen that is going to release you or them or someone from a situation or never-ending cycle that kept them stuck and bound to now become free and single nine of pentacles to be able to move forward at free will and connect with somebody that either they know from their past or somebody they feel a very strong soul connection with from a, from their past i.e past lives six of cups is somebody that you've known a long time you've known your whole life or maybe years ago or somebody that you connected with a long time ago somebody from your past that means something to you or this is a connection where you meet somebody and you feel like you've known them before most likely in a past life this is very much soulmate energy this is very much nostalgia this is very much wanting to go and pursue someone or a connection that somebody feels very drawn to and they are just very excited and giddy on the inside because they feel like there could really be something here if only they could have the chance to explore it so i'm really kind of feeling first and foremost that the winds of change and fate has come in to release somebody from a previous situation so they can now be single and free and independent to move forward toward a connection that they really have their hearts set on and what was blocking this in the past was justice justice reversed so yes yeah, some kind of situation that needed to come full circle or come to an ending or a natural ending or some kind of a release so somebody can move forward all right the blessing in disguise between the two of you was the two of pentacles clarifying that is the higher font look at that marriage card and a uh, spiritual union spiritual path spiritual leader spiritual teacher the Sun look at this blessing in disguise so I really feel divine timing here because that two of Pentacles like I say can be something that either somebody's trying to make a decision about something or it's a timing issue trying to make a decision trying to wait for the right time trying to gather more information um, or you know waiting for the right you know um, getting their ducks in the row or waiting for the right lineup of things you know what I mean like things are out of whack or something just kind of waiting for things every every all these different moving pieces and parts in their life just to kind of come together like this right and just that like a greased wheel just rolling and it's just everything's just coming together and so that that way this person feels like okay now I'm ready and then you've got the higher font and the Sun and so the higher font like I say it is a card of marriage this is a spiritual or religious leader uh, or authoritative figure who has the power to join two people in matrimony 
all right? Whether that is, you know, justice of the peace, whether that is uh, down at the courthouse, whether this is, uh, you know, uh, in a church or a synagogue or a Buddhist temple or out in nature or, you know, whatever, some kind of ritual or ceremony, okay? Um, and the sun card is, it's like finally it's coming to pass, you know what I mean? You guys have a bright new day. Like when you have these two cards together, when it when it talks about two people who've been waiting a while to come together, it's happening. Like the wedding set, the wedding date is set. You guys are doing all the preparations and it's like right around the corner or some of you had just recently got married and finally, you know, were able to get there. All right. Um, and if it's not that quite yet, then what this means is that like the timing is coming into play here where things are going to start falling into place so that you can move this relationship on down the road for those some of you are dating you want to become exclusive those of you already exclusive maybe you want to move in together maybe you want to move in together or or you're already living together and then somebody's going to pop the question and now you're engaged okay so it's just moving it to the next stage the next stage the next stage the next stage um and epiphanies and revelations here with that sun card. It's also a card of confidence. It's a card of awakenings, reawakening, um, and um, just a bright new day. This is a card of um, strength, personal strength, determination, like I say, confidence to follow through on something, and just like, you know, the universe removing all of those blockages so that you have the green light to go. Now, those of you that aren't dealing with marriage and all of that, the Hierophant card can indicate not only spiritual lessons, but a spiritual teacher, a spiritual path, a spiritual calling. And so some of you are juggling that right now in addition to this relationship or juggling that in addition to finding yourself through this relationship or kind of trying to figure out how that's going to also work with your relationship. All right, whatever the case may be, we've got the nine of wands in the reverse here. And so what this is telling me is that there was definitely some divine timing going on here because healing needed to take place. Old cycles had to close out all of that kind of stuff. Karmic cycles, you know, uh, previous chapters, like chapter one of somebody's life needed to close and now they're ready to move on to, to the next. Um, you know, this can even be the natural ebb and flow of evolution within one's families. Maybe somebody had to pass away before this person could move on. Um, that kind of thing. Um, or maybe a change in a career needed to happen so that somebody could, you know, be free to move on, whatever it is. But, you know, the nine of wands is that battered, beaten, bruised, torn, bleeding, you know, just came out of a battle kind of card. And when it's in the reverse position, this is indicates somebody who has done their time, they've licked their wounds, they've done their work, they're all kind of glued back together now. They might have some more wounds and a couple of scars, but, you know, they're ready to move forward. And, um, and, you know, move, move on to the next chapter in the brighter day. So this is the blessing in disguise. And, you know, even though it's like, oh, it's a tough blessing in disguise. Well, what it did was it made you or them or both of you stronger, more whole, well-rounded individual people to come together, making your connection and your union naturally stronger than it would have been before had you come together when you weren't quite ready for each other. That's what I'm really feeling there. And then the outcome here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups. Now, this can be indicating that some of you, or all of you, or whoever, somebody, or maybe the cross watcher, I don't know, or this person that you're dealing with, this can be indicating um, dating in secret, dating on the down low getting to know somebody, dating for a while, becoming exclusive, dating for years even and not letting anybody know about it. Doing stuff behind the scenes. Maybe some of you are gonna go get married uh, in a big secretive way. You're gonna go run off and get hitched somewhere and then you're gonna come back and tell everybody, hey, we're married. And everyone's going to be like, I didn't even know you guys were dating. You're going to be like, yeah, we've been together for like two years. You know what I mean? So, you know, there could be that kind of stuff going on here. The Ace of Pentacles is that new beginning. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups is like secretly wanting to offer their cup, secretly dating, secret courtship. Maybe some of you had to date behind other people's backs. Uh, maybe some of you were dating um, behind previous uh, partners. 
if you were involved in a relationship and they were involved in a relationship and you both were getting out of those relationships and you guys came together, even though you weren't totally out of those relationships, this could be that kind of energy. Excuse me. So there's that coming in here. Now, the other thing about this is, is that the outcome in the past was delayed because of unfinished business elsewhere. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse position. So this is definitely no action being taken, no forward movement. And also somebody could be, you know, cutting off ties to their player ways as well and becoming more serious. So, you know, that seven of swords, you know, whenever you see the seven of swords, I mean, I always see that as kind of player energy, somebody who's lying, cheating, st stealing, sneaking, you know, going behind other people's backs, trying to rationalize it, make it sound like it's not that bad, but really it is, you know what I mean? Or this could be a full-on player. This could be somebody who is, you know, done doing that. Um, they have freed themselves from that. They feel bad about it, but maybe the circumstances were such that, you know, it just kind of played out that way, and now they're freed from it, so they, you know, can be done with that type of behavior. They don't, it's not really who they are. They don't like it. Um, and then, you know, here you are with the Ace of Coins and the Knight of Cups, definitely wanting to offer that cup. The Knight of Cups is courtship. So even those of you that are currently coupled or, or married or whatever, this could be courtship. You know, you still have to date each other, right? You still got to keep, keep the home fires burning. <laughs> um, and, you know, maybe some of you want, it, want a new beginning in your already established relationship and or marriage. Moving on to the next chapter of it, spicing it up a little bit, finding each other again, reconnecting in a deeper way that, you know, maybe things have grown stagnant for a period of time because of life responsibilities and family and kids and all that. Others of you single are trying to come back to the person of interest. You're definitely wanting to step forward, offer your cup and, and um, make a legitimate offer for the potential of a future or vice versa. Somebody's going to be doing that to, um, to uh, Aquarius. All right. Wow. That's what I'm seeing there. Is there anything else that you want to say about this? Um, reading. It's a little bit confusing. I mean, I could go through and try to um, clarify again, but you know, each placement gave me two to three storylines. And so, and I can tell just by that, that this is one of those kind of wishy-washy readings where it just depends on which Aquarius you are, what your history is, what your background is, what side of the street you're on. You know, I did a reading, I think just yesterday or the day before, for one of the signs where it was very clean cut and clear. There was one storyline, possibly two, and that was it. This is one of those that it's like there was um, definitely other obstacles, blockages, and delays involved. People, places, things, situations, scenarios, uh, and even stuff outside of you that other people meddling or your hands were tied or timing was off. So many things were kind of acting as, as a, a constant barrier to you coming together with your person. And so it just depends. There's, it just seems like there's multiple things here. Here you are, Knight of Wands. So, you know, definitely somebody in this connection is wanting to take that action. It's like, you know, the more that you guys are kept apart from each other, the, the stronger that desire is. And, this is the desire to rush in and communicate and take action. And, you know, this is a, 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 a card of passion and desire and sexual chemistry and all of that kind of stuff. Could this be player energy? Yes. Was somebody a player in this connection or with people from their past? It could be. Um, you know, maybe there was some underhanded dealings here that, you know, weren't really uh, conducive with somebody of quality character. And uh, there could have been some of that going on here. It just depends. Um, but, you know, this can also be rushing in and out of each other's lives, never really kind of settling down, a lot of in and out energy because you guys couldn't quite be together. Let's see what else is coming out here. What else do you want to say, Spirit, about this reading? That's too many cards. Anything else you want to say about this reading?
nothing <laughs> can you pop something please we don't have all day we got to get moving here what else do you want to say hmm is there anything else that wants to come out Doesn't feel like it, Aquarius, but look, if this isn't a player energy, then somebody is definitely going to be charging in like full force with a sense of urgency and passion in order to make something happen. That's what it really feels like to me. Way too many cards again. I'm feeling like there was too much restraint here for a while and somebody really wants to lock it down at this point. They're tired of the restraint. They're tired of, um, you know, having to wait. They're tired of situations or circumstances outside of themselves or other people or whatever, you know, telling them no or you can't do this or you got to wait for that. You know, somebody here is, um, it's like there's all these energetic delays that's causing somebody to really step into their power and Go for it and lock it down. Nothing is popping out, and I'm not going to force it. So that's what we're going with there. Okay. You know what I'm feeling drawn to? I haven't used the Lenormand deck or the or the um, this Kipper deck for quite a while. Let me see here. Here we go. I just want to see what's going to come out in the Lenormand. We'll use these to clarify. I want to change it up a little bit in April just to kind of do something different. I get a little bored with the same decks after a while. Um, what is coming in here for Aquarius with this person that they're thinking about? They're interested in, they want to be with, they're currently with, whatever. What is coming in here? Look at this. We got the star card. And that is Aquarian energy. So definitely big time healing here. Big time being guided by that North Star of Aquarius. Big time divine timing. Big time opportunity or door opening here. Um, divine connection. Telepathic communication. Uh, divine healing. You know what I mean? Definitely winds of change, karmic cycles, new opportunities coming in here. This is getting exciting. What else is coming in here for Aquarius with their person? Dice. Now, this is one of those cards in this deck that, you know, really is dependent upon the cards that are around it. You know, the dice is all about taking that risk, taking the gamble, going for it. And somebody could have been maybe shy to do that for a period of time. Maybe they weren't sure if it was worth the risk, if they could take the gamble. What will they lose out on? You know, uh, what will happen if they're rejected? What happens if everything falls through? And it's almost like there is this divine guidance or divine push to go ahead and roll the dice. You know, you got to get in the game. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, just cross your fingers and hope to God that you roll a couple of sevens you know what i'm saying which is you know that divine timing card or that divine timing number in numerology um what else is coming in here and here you've got the five and the three so that's the number eight and that is the in infinity symbol that is the ebb and the flow the giving and the receiving that is abundance and prosperity infinite abundance you know um all the way around so if you take that risk it looks like it's going to be working out in your favor or if somebody takes that risk with you what else is coming in here for Aquarius please the Fox now a couple things with this the Fox can talk about career the Fox on the positive side talks about taking a gamble with career um, whatever that is, whether it's changing careers, changing directions all the way around, changing jobs, uh, promotions, or maybe leaving what you've been doing for a while to step out on your own and do something up for yourself. This is also the card of being a boss, having a lot of employees, taking a risk and taking a gamble with something around, um, you know, I, obviously around this love situation. The shadow side of the fox is somebody who is sneaky, not trustworthy, things like that. So what else is coming in here for Aquarius? Oh, 
we have the key. The key is all about opening doors, opening things that are locked. Um, and you know, like this cage, you know what I mean? Letting the bird out of the cage to, to spread its wings and fly. Uh, this is also a card that talks about divine wisdom and knowledge coming in, uh, things like that kind of getting downloaded into you or kind of falling in your lap. Uh, this is also a stroke of luck, that kind of thing. You know, taking that risk, taking a gamble, being very smart. You know, the fox is very smart and cunning and stealthy. Um, and they can also be very much, much a trickster and somebody who, um, you know, is um, all about humor and things like that as well, okay? But, you know, also the boss and trying to make calculated decisions, maybe trying to make a calculated decision about taking the leap of faith, about rolling the dice in this divinely guided connection and, um, you know, hoping that it's going to open, you know, that golden key is like opening the door to the kingdom, to the, you know, happily ever after ten of cups energy. Anything else coming in here for... Aquarius with this situation being at a crossroads some of you or, or the person you're dealing with has been at a crossroads for a period of time and they've been trying to make a decision uh, about this okay on the bottom of the deck is the scythe so uh, you know that is all about making decisions um, cutting through things cutting through the facade the BS the miscommunication whatever it is getting right to the point cutting something out um, communication, quick communication, making a decision about something, that kind of thing. All right, what's coming in here from this German deck that Aquarius needs to know? That's too many cards. Let's start over. What is coming in here for Aquarius? I gotta get going because we're at 32 minutes and these files get too big to load on YouTube. What's coming in here for Aquarius with their person of interest? Or what do they need to know? Distant horizons and courtship. Wow, so some of you are at a distant, let me say that again. Some of you are at a distance from your person of interest. And you might have to travel to see them, to be with them. Some of you, you might have to move in order to be with them. This could be across town, a new city, state, country, across an ocean, to a different country. The person that you're dealing with is at a distance from you. Um, or somebody's going to move to be with the other person in order to make this work. This can also be wanting to travel together, maybe to get away. Uh, from everyone and spend some quality time together. Look at this. There's a message coming in for you, to you from them or from you to them. This can also be a message coming in from spirit to guide you on this path. Distant horizons, courtship and message. It could be an invitation of some kind, giving or receiving. This could be a message coming in from someone else, you know, that is going to benefit this connection in some way. What else is coming in here for Aquarius? This one is sticking out. Ooh, mature woman. So there could be a mature woman um, in this energy, whether this is a mother figure that's been meddling in this connection for the, you know, for the demise of it. This could be a mother figure that is supportive of this connection, wanting to help bring it together. This could be a mother figure or just a mature woman, maybe a boss or, you know, somebody else, I don't know, that's kind of influencing this in some way. Or a mature woman that somebody comes across during this travel. Message of concern. So there's a message of concern coming from a mature woman or about a mature woman. Um, or somebody is, you know, meddling in this or they're kind of, you know, blowing the horn and trying to plant seeds of concern in your ear or their ear or someone's. Uh, maybe some of you have to date this person of interest secretly because you know that your mother wouldn't approve. Um, message of concern about a mature woman. Maybe there's a health issue here. Maybe you have to travel to their bedside. So many different things that could mean. 
child. Ooh, okay. So either there's children affecting this, you know, this connection already. Uh, you could be having a child with this person. Um, you could be the adult child of this mature woman, and there's a message of concern here. Like I had mentioned before, uh, there could be an unborn child that is ready to come in in this connection as well. This can also be a card that indicates just a new beginning, having a new beginning with this person. And maybe this mature woman is concerned about this new beginning and doesn't want it to happen. So some of you, you need to be, uh, you know, careful about whatever this energy is. But it seems like for the rest of the, your spread, this looks rather positive. All right. So I'm going to stop there. Write me and let me know what you thought of this. I know I used different cards this time. I didn't do my typical, um, um, you know, uh, ex um, clarifiers and all my decks in the extended. One reason is because I want to change it up a little bit. I get bored. And the second reason is because all those other decks, they take a very long time to get through and it makes the videos very long. Um, and, um, and, and it does get tiring for me because I have to do 24 videos. So, um, so that, that just gets to be a lot. And so I just thought, let's just kind of switch it up a little bit, keep it light and see what else comes out. And I'll probably be changing it on a regular basis as we move forward. So just be aware of that, you know, if you want to buy extendeds in the future, um, it, it might be a mixed bag on what you get, but you have to understand that whatever does come out is what is meant to come out right now. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this reading Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you back here for the mid month updates in April. Bye.